We're in it to win it now, everybody. The guild is officially formed on the Moon Guard server. Welcome to Risen. Now, if you missed the previous announcement about this, this is the new guild that I have formed along with Bubblonia and some other people who are looking to take advantage of the World Soul Saga for uh, World of Warcraft retail. Now, I'm someone who hasn't played a lot of retail. I've only played a couple of months here and there. Most of that time was right leading up to Dragonflight where I played a Horde character through Battle for Azeroth and Shadowlands. Just a tiny little bit of Dragonflight and then I got busy with other stuff. Um, and then when I watched the presentation at BlizzCon, I went, you know what? I think I'm actually ready to get back into a mod modern MMORPG because World of Warcraft Retail is exactly that. It's a modern game and I don't have any of the baggage that a lot of other people have. So for me, I'm able to look at this and say, hey, Chris Metzen is back. Great storyteller. Bobby Kotick's out the door. Microsoft has acquisitioned them. It's a new era for Blizzard as a company and I'm looking forward to everything they have to offer with the World Soul Saga. So this guild specifically is formed up to be a guild that is taking advantage of the entirety of that trilogy of expansions we are not looking at any one expansion uh, we are looking at this as a totality of a trilogy of expansions and so we're looking at this as one big piece of content that we're looking forward to consuming as a guild as a community here through my youtube channel through the multi streams on twitch and everything else we've got going on um, my channel has always been a variety channel ever since i started it you know a few years ago I've done movie reviews, book reviews, the podcast around Middle Earth and Dune, done all sorts of different types of games. I play everything. I play sports games, RPGs, MMORPGs, first-person shooters, point-and-click adventure games, RTSs. I play everything. That's always been the case for my channel, and it remains the case. But in 2024, and for the next at least three years... World of Warcraft is going to become a major part of my channel. If I had to estimate, I would say about 30% of the content that I'm going to be creating the rest of this year into next year and beyond is around World of Warcraft. Because for me, I'm looking at a game that has 19 years of history around it, and there's a ton of stuff that I can come in and create content around from guides and strategies to things like as an example someone was asking me today are you going to go out there and get all of these pet collections since you've never played a hunter really before and you have all these opportunities to go get pets and i went absolutely i'm going to go out there and hunt down all these pets because for me it's new it's fresh it's content for the channel and along the way we're doing dragon flight throughout 2024 and we're ramping up to the war within now if you haven't watched the previous video i did talking about the sort of the genesis of the idea for the guild. I covered a lot of this over there, but just as a refresher for those of you who might want to get involved with what we got going on here, it is not a sweaty guild. We are not worried about Mythic Plus. We're not worried about Heroic even, although there may be people that want to do that later on down the road, and we will you know, probably help that out with some Discord channels and, and specifically set those up for the people who want to do it. But our objective is story first which means everything we're doing is story mode i'm a huge fan of what's coming on the pipeline with fellowship dungeons and the delves meaning that i can go in with my brother and my nephew one or two people find npcs to join if we have guild members that are busy doing other things scalable content for small groups of people and then as we go through the storyline when we do guild groups, we can maybe do raids. We can do those things, but from a storyline first perspective, meaning we're doing everything on easy mode. We're doing everything from a story perspective. We don't want to do this hot and sweaty. There's no gear grind here. There's none of that. It's just a very casual, relaxed place where we're focused on the storyline. One of the things that really excited me about the uh, Fellowship Dungeons that's coming down the pipeline, as an example, I talked about this earlier today, is the fact that as a new player to World of Warcraft... Um, when I go do a dungeon, and I've done some pickup dungeons um, with Battle for Azeroth as I've been leveling up the Kul Tiras with this hunter character that I have created here. Um, one of the downfalls to doing dungeons in a 19-year-old game is that most of the people who are going to do the dungeons in a pickup group are doing it from the perspective of it's my daily grind. And so they want to get in and get out, and so they're rush, rush, rushing, which leaves me no time to slow down to read the dialogue, to listen to the voiceovers, to immerse myself in the story that's being presented, to watch the cutscenes. Um, that's not, I'm not really able to enjoy that because of the pace at which most people want to play. And this guild is founded around the principles of slowing down, taking our time, 
being new players to the game, exploring the cutscenes, watching the voiceovers, taking our time to immerse ourselves in everything the game has to offer, and pursue it from the perspective of enjoying a really cool storyline, as opposed to just needing to rush, 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 hurry, 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 get your dailies done, um, and go from there. And of course, at some point, I'm sure as we've all leveled up our characters and everything else, there will be the time to do dailies. But in the meantime, a lot of us are new. Um, and haven't played a lot of World of Warcraft. Some people played 10 years ago and haven't played since then. So we've got a lot of different people coming together for this guild. Um, so, if you want to join us, it's the Moon Guard server. Um, we are formed up. We are primarily an alliance guild, but these days with cross-faction stuff, it doesn't really matter because you can come join for all sorts of different types of content um, with dungeons and everything else. Um, the priority here is the World Soul Saga. So... Uh, right now, we've formed up the guild. We are currently sort of using uh, my uh, Wandering Hermits Discord with my brother and my wife, which is sort of our existing gaming community that we've done over the last decade, along with our you know homestead stuff and our Weave in the Void stuff for our game dev projects. Um, we have a World of Warcraft channel in there. But over the weekend, we're getting a Discord server set up specifically for the guild. <clears throat> we just formed the guild today. Quick commercial break, everyone, to celebrate and give thanks to all of these amazing people who keep me on the air full time. Really appreciate the support. All you got to do is join as a member. You get access to private videos. You can also do super thanks on any upload or super chats and stickers on any live stream or premiere you see. And beyond that, don't forget we're multi-streaming over on Twitch now, so you can support over there as well. Thanks so much to everybody. Let's get back to the video at hand. So it's just fresh. Got the guild tied up. We got um, got a, quite a few people already invited in. So we've got you know plenty of people already coming down the pipeline. The objective right now is we are leveling characters up on the Moonguard server to start playing together through the Dragonflight content. And as we get through December into January, we're going to be pursuing the Dragonflight content throughout the year, working our way towards the War Within which is the start of the World Soul Saga. And once that kicks off, everybody's going to be rolling different characters, having different alts and everything else because of the war bands that are coming down the pipeline. So we're prepped and ready now. The guild is up. The Discord is coming. The guild charter should be ready in the next couple of days. So if you want to stay up to speed on all this and you want to get involved, follow the links down below to our existing Discord, which is the Wandering Hermits Discord, where my brother and my wife and I have our existing gaming community. There's a World of Warcraft channel in there where we're currently congregating and talking about and everybody's in there asking for guild invites and everything else so we can get everybody into the guild. And then over the weekend, I'm going to get the official guild Discord uh, up and running. We're going to get the guild charter finalized and put up in there. And we're going to be going from there and recruiting and building up and seeing where we go from here. In the past, when we've done these um, progression servers over the years, we've usually come in and played once or twice a year with our gaming community. We usually have anywhere from 75 to 150 people who join us. I anticipate this to be probably a bigger venture than that. So if you want to join, now's the perfect time to get your feet in on the base floor. Um, you can ask anybody for an invite right now, but um, myself and Bubblonia are the two people who are running the show right now. So if you don't see me online or you don't see me in Discord, make sure to ping him. Um, there's a sticky section on the Discord where we've got um, his battle tag and my battle tag, so you can reach out for more information. Look forward to seeing you all in game, and hopefully you're going to stick around for the long haul because we got the next few years ahead of us with this entirety of the World Soul Saga as our objective. So it's not just one expansion. We are planning on spending the next few years together in World of Warcraft and hopefully beyond because there's lots of other cool games that are coming down the pipeline, and we traditionally play together over the over the years, but this is a little different than the way my brother and I have run things in the past um, because this is specifically set up to do a long-term uh, game as opposed to just going into something for three or four months. We're actually going in with a three to four year objective here. But there's Dune Awakening and all sorts of other stuff coming in the pipeline, which we're going to want to try out together as a gaming community. So look forward to seeing you in game. Don't forget to like, subscribe to the bell icon. Hopefully we'll see you in the next live stream or guide. Until then, stay safe, everybody. Happy gaming.